Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. Taking a look at our live radar right now, we do have some snow showers moving through the area. Some of these kind of interesting bands that you see here look like lines almost is due to a northwesterly flow we have moving through the area, causing some what we call ocean effect snow. Now, this snow moving through was not expected to cause any major accumulations, if anything, uh, a dusting maybe an inch in some spots where we're kind of seeing that darker blue, uh, especially out towards uh, the Cape. We could see s the showers lingering a little bit longer than our immediate area here in southeastern Mass and Rhode Island. But nevertheless, kind of more nuisance snow showers, and these should be moving out in the next couple of hours, leading us to a much drier overnight but very cold uh, day on Sunday as well. Uh, temperatures right now, we're well into the teens, and those wind chills are right around zero still already in some spots. Uh, other areas around five degrees. Nevertheless, brutal cold out there. Try to limit going outside if you can. Our prolonged, prolonged exposure to this cold as it can cause frostbite or hypothermia. We're right around 17 degrees in Providence. Down at the coast, similar temperature trends, 16 in Narragansett. New Bedford and Taunton at 19 and 18 degrees, so very cold across the area. And here's a look at those wind chills right now, almost at zero in Smithfield at two. Providence at four, down at the coast, right around zero as well. So again, very cold out there. Be careful if you have to be outside at any point overnight tonight especially. So your hour by hour forecast, as these showers move offshore, again, could linger slightly longer out towards Cape Cod, but in our immediate area, most of the night looks dry here, but brutal cold overnight tonight, leading way to another frigid start of the day on Sunday. And those cold temperatures are gonna stick around slightly higher afternoon highs in the mid 20s, but another cold day on tap, and then those temperatures dropping right back down again after sunset, back into the teens, and those wind chills will be right around the same at between zero and five degrees as we head towards the overnight. And that's gonna lead to a very cold start to your Monday morning as well, but a turnaround on the way with overall warmer temperatures starting Monday afternoon and for the rest of next week, although the stormy weather is expected to return as well as we head towards Tuesday night into Wednesday. So your forecast for tonight here, very cold, frigid temperatures in the teens with those wind chills bringing uh, the feel like temperatures right around zero. It's going to be a little bit blustery out there as well. So again, try to avoid uh, outdoor time overnight tonight. I know it's a Saturday night. People are going out, uh, but if you are going out, dress accordingly. It's going to be very cold out there. That's leading way to a frigid start to your day Sunday morning, as I mentioned, with those temperatures in the teens to start and really not warming up all that much here with those afternoon highs sticking right around the mid 20s. So slightly warmer than what we saw today on Saturday with that high right around 20 degrees. We'll be inching towards the mid 20s by your afternoon highs at around two, three o'clock. But then after the sunset here, we will be seeing those temperatures drop back down into the teens pretty quickly as we head towards the overnight Sunday with a cold start on Monday. But again, some changes on the way with a dry but warmer afternoon for Monday and then warmer temperatures really for the rest of the week. But again, we are keeping an eye on kind of that stormy weather returning. So check back in with us the next couple days as we'll kind of have a better idea of what to expect from that system we're tracking Tuesday night into Wednesday. In the meantime, you can always get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.